Welcome back to the Basement Yard. Today, me and Danny have a guest, our good friend from the New York Rangers, What's up, guys? Mika Zibandrarad. Zibandrarad. How did the Google say it? Z- Ziban. J- Z- no. Zibanishad? No, hey, that's no. like how you say it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They don't say it right. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Who's Mika Zibanejad? According to Wikipedia, Mika Zibanejad is a Swedish <laughs> professional... Why is it? Why do Zibanejad, I, uh, you're a Swedish I, I, professional I, I, centerman or whatever centerman? the fuck. Yeah, not yeah a you're a centerman. Player, just centerman. No, you're not a hockey player. You you're play, a Swedish professional. You take the face-offs and you get the fuck off yeah. the ass. That's yeah. kind of what happens. Yeah. That's what <laughs> I do. It's kind of like a cross. That's literally a position, I think. How long have you been playing hockey? Since I was seven. Seven? seven? Years old. Yeah. You're going to have to talk to that, Mike, boy. Everyone starts at like four, I feel like. I start so late. But You played soccer, right? Soccer and tennis. Tennis since I was four. Damn. You play tennis? Hell no. I, I'm terrible. I'm all right. Like, I'm, I'm probably not now. I'm that one guy who can get like one cool serve in every 45 tries. Because you go too hard? or Yeah, go way oh, you, too hard. <laughs> it's okay. always out of bounds? Yeah, always out of bounds. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I can definitely see that from you. And you're also a lefty. Yeah. Might put a little my forehand is pretty good. Like my left-handed forehand, like left-handed forehand, left-handed forehand. I'm sorry. You have a right-handed forehand too? No, no, no. I'm just it's saying your forehand. No, 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 no. Yeah, but I'm understand. just saying forehand. Yeah, but it's a, from the left, from the left side. We're, we got it. We're all over. <laughs> up court, up court, good. <laughs> cross court, no bueno. Really? Well, you have more. You have more leeway going cross. Though. Yeah, I know. It's space. weird. I'm I'm better at going this way. When was the last so time you picked up a net? tennis racket? Uh, I coached tennis. What? I, I swear. I swear. You coached tennis? Well, it was more of a babysitting job. They Those were, are completely <laughs> different things. No, listen. A tennis you were coach babysitting job. someone was that te- was practicing tennis? Yeah. I was a tennis coach for the middle school that I went to. I coached football there. I coached basketball there. And they needed an emergency tennis coach. So I took it for the money. How much? It was like a stipend of like $8,000. Not bad. That's awesome. Yeah, it's not bad. I'd go do that now. Yeah. So it was like, I basically got there, put the kids in groups, and, and like served at them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Every kid on that team could beat me. Yeah. Yeah. Every single one of them, and they would in practice. So wait, when was the last time you picked up a racket? I would say I'm 29 now. 24. Probably. A shorter. I haven't picked one up maybe in a decade. Yeah, I mean I, that's one. You of the said s- you would beat me. No, nah, yeah, I said yeah, that. I was probably I probably had a couple, couple shots. You made me do like Belvedere shots the other day. I almost but, lost my mind. Yeah, it's like drinking. I don't even know. No. It wasn't even chilled either. No, it was gross. What's it was the gross. stuff? What's the friction? Na- <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> nail polish remover. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, it's disgusting. It's terrible. So you started. You playing- actually drank that. What? You actually drank that? Yeah. Yeah. It was gross. It was. And then the nail drink, polish remover. Saying. Oh, not that. No, no but it smells exactly. Like that. <laughs> you tried it. Yeah, so Danny know. probably did though. Uh, a couple times. Yeah, exactly. You have so to try know. it at least. Yeah. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Don't knock. You That's know, you could drink mouthwash and get drunk. Apparently. Yeah, there's like a little bit of alcohol in it. You have to like chug a lot. Oh. You know what's Listerine? You'd have to drink to get drunk. How much does Listerine burn your mouth when you do it? Literally two days ago. <laughs> two days ago, I have Listerine in there. Don't know why. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard. It's so burny. It's, it hurts. Which ones do you have? It was. It's just like the original green, the green like one? hot as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I put it in my mouth and I'm like, and I like had to pee, so I'm peeing. It like literally three seconds into my pee, I'm like, yo, I'm, this <laughs> yeah. is burning my fucking mouth. Did you spit it into the toilet? No, no, no. I, I, I didn't want to get it on my dick because then it was over <laughs> from yeah. there. I, oh, yeah. I would have burned it off. And yeah, you know, it's funny because like the first three seconds of mouthwash is like, all right. Okay. Feels clean. Then it finds that bacteria, and then it's like, burn it. Burn it. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm just like, oh, my God. It's like something put a hot coal in my mouth. I'm a bitch, bro. I'm not good with hot stuff. Oh, I can't stand it. You don't like spicy food? No. I like it. I would love to be able to do do the hot ones. I literally was just going to ask that. I want want to do so bad, but I have to prepare it. I yeah. barely get through Tabasco or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, Did you just say Tabasco? <laughs> Tabasco? <laughs> Tabasco? Bad Tabasco. Swedish, bro. That's crazy. Bad yeah, Your but- English is very good, though. You say your English is bad sometimes? Yeah, well, it depends on what s- state I'm at. Yeah. yeah. What does that mean? After a couple Chardonnays, he starts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be fancy. <laughs> after a couple of sparkling wines. Uh, yeah. After a couple of Proseccos. 
That yeah. Swedish comes out. Yeah. No, the Swedish doesn't come out. The English doesn't come out. Yeah, that, that's a yeah. problem. Or it just, comes out just like uh, so. People have asked because like he's Mika's met a couple of our friends and they've been like, "Yo, his English is like really good." I'm like, "Yeah, his English is like fine, like totally fine." It's just like sometimes he'll just be like, yeah, "I just I don't know that word. I don't know what it is." Like, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah, but when you come up with weird words I've never heard before. Yeah, it's true. That well, you could most actually of our use. language is made up. And we also talked about the other day. I think it's like the most confusing. Like I hate it. I think everything else it's, sounds cooler. Uh, Swedish is very confusing too, like grammar wise. It's Why? really hard, really hard to learn. You guys have like dots above certain letters and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I can't. I, How many letters do you guys have? <laughs> How many do you guys have? We have 26? three more. You don't know? I don't even know. You 26, know? yeah. Yeah, A, B, Z, D, F, G. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's 26. 26. It might be 27. No, no, no. A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. 26. 26. All right. So we, we were right. 29. We right. No, I'm just saying. How yeah. many states are there? 50. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> that's again. Some people are like, 51, Hawaii. I'm yeah. like, no, that's included, dude. Yeah. Puerto Rico. Yeah. Do you yeah. know how many letters you guys have? I'm assuming. 29. 29. Oh, shit. I yeah. laughed because I thought that was a dumb question. No, it's not. No. Wait, so what extra, extra Which So ones? we have the two A's and a O. So the first A is with one dot on it. The second A is with two dots, and the O got two dots. See? Not a dumb question. No, it wasn't. It was a good question. <laughs> it was a good question, honestly. All right. I have, I have one question about learning English. How did you learn English? Mostly in school? <laughs> <laughs> I have one question about learning English. How, How did, did you, you learn, learn English? Because <laughs> uh, I always hear like these, like, because athletes... We'll come over here and be like, oh, I learned it from watching TV. Yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> really? Yeah, friends. Well, we, they friends. taught us. Yeah, well, they taught us in school, but like to be able to have like, because a lot of them, a lot of people in Sweden, they have like British accent because mm. that's what you get taught kind of. Yeah. And people like it more. I don't know why, but I figured I'd come over here because I always wanted to come over here somehow. But so I wanted to be like, you know, you, you meet people immediately. If you don't speak like regular English, they go, oh, where are you from? Yeah. So I didn't want to have that. So I watched Friends over and over and over again, just trying to like imitate how you speak and how you pronounce yeah. words and stuff. Because like if you if I worked in a store and you came in there, I wouldn't think you were from another country. Me neither. But like if you if I had a conversation with you, I'd be like, some little fishy going on. <laughs> <laughs> some going on here. I don't know. Something going on. A little sweet. Yeah, but they're so like they're so spread with people I meet because some people don't hear an accent at all, and some people do. Yeah, I mean, I don't really like. You know? Not at all. I feel like if I thought you had an accent, I would like hold back on how I would speak. Like I'd be like, let that me is, try and say this. That is yeah, so that's, true, right? Because when you, so when you know that's someone exactly has an accent, why? Yeah, that's exactly why. Because I, I don't do that. Like I, I just talk how I talk. Like yeah. I would go out of my way to talk to you, like you're a dumb person, <laughs> like a baby, like <laughs> like a baby store. Yeah, <laughs> you know, we're going to eat food today. <laughs> Together, me, you, friends, food. <laughs> yeah, which would be me, like I, yo, like. The fact that you even were like, yo, I'm going to watch Friends so that I don't have an accent. Like, you cared that much about it. Like, here, when it comes to other languages, it's like you learn it in high school Doesn't and then you forget it, like, literally as soon as you walk out the door. You're like, I, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I took Italian and Spanish for mad long. Don't know anything. Nothing at all. Is it weird if I say that Americans are very ignorant to everything else around? I am so on board with that. Well, if you really think about it, Everywhere the else, greatest country every, every, in the world. That's <laughs> all I hear. I'm like, it's really? The greatest country in the world. Fuck everybody else. That's <laughs> basically what's going on. But can we also say, though, I feel like every country thinks their country is the best in the world uh, that are like not like third world countries? I mean, no, I God. guess. Because <laughs> obviously they're not being like, all right, we have the best country. <laughs> yeah, or if they're having like a bad time. Then yeah, then, yeah, yeah. You know, we're just going through it. Right? You got well, you know, you to call, call it how it is. It's, it's well, either light. When the, when the World Cup comes around, that's when everyone's like, Yo, Brazil yeah. is the best country. It's like, yeah, you guys are good at soccer. All right. Everyone has like that quarter Brazilian friend who like cheers for Brazil so over hard. America. I'm oh, like, dude, you were born in the Bronx. Bro, <laughs> also, yeah, because that's another thing. I, another thing is it, uh, 2006, I believe, is when Italy won, right? Yeah. yeah. I celebrated that, though. Yeah, but I didn't know, like, none of my friends growing up, I didn't know who, what they were until 
that World Cup. And as soon as Italy won, Italia jackets, <laughs> yeah. fucking belt buckles, <laughs> fucking Rossi jerseys, Totti jerseys, yeah. fucking Luca Toni over oh. here. <laughs> like I was like, yo, I, like where was this before they won? How then s- it became that. How sweet in the soccer team? Not bad. They made it to the quarterfinals this year. So they're not in the cup. We're not in the cup either, right? No. No, they were. They're, they're going to be in the cup. The cup's over. Yeah. yeah, but didn't they do qualifiers? <laughs> yeah, but that's for Euro right now. Oh, for the Euro Cup. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, it so just get, ended the World Cup. No, 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 no. But they like get to like, they get after it, like right after. Like, yeah, but qual- I think you like guys have like, shit. you guys play Mexico and stuff here, right? Yeah. For, like yeah. a yeah. whatever tournament, but. I don't even fucking know, man. I, I barely watch soccer. Soccer is one of the most confusing sports of all time. No, it's not. Yes, it is. There's Why? like four rules. It, yeah, but it's also, can, can we say, people say hockey is a boring sport. Who says that? A lot of people do. No, they say baseball is a boring sport. No, no, yeah, no, no, no. That's, 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 well, that's a what, fact. That, that's what I'm getting to. Playoff hockey compared to regular season hockey is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like more goals are scored. Well, everyone's just and everyone is up. going crazy. Yeah. But which sport, if you had to rank them, you're going to be biased. <laughs> Hockey, soccer, baseball, boring. One through three. Playoffs or no playoffs? You said hockey is in there. Just just hockey, as a hockey, over, just as a overall no, hockey, go baseball. Yeah, go playoffs. It's yeah. all it's all included. Like okay. the most exciting game. Part of it. Yeah. All right. So playoff hockey, World Cup soccer, and then World Series baseball, which is the most boring. I, I would say you're right. It was. Oh, no, I haven't that said anything. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 I was asking. I thought, I thought you ranked them. No, no, no. I, well, that is my ranking. I think baseball, World Series baseball. Like I could forget about a World Series if like. There's just random teams yeah. in it, and I wouldn't even watch all the games. Right. I'm not missing a game of like the World Cup, uh, especially if the USA is in it. Like I'll watch, or just like whatever. Like this year, I was I was like rooting for like Iceland just because I was like, yo, Fuck huge it. underdog. Like, yeah, why not? Let's, let's do it. Um, and dude, playoff hockey is amazing. And I also think that people who are like, if, I don't know anyone who has said hockey is boring, but if they do say that, I feel like usually the caveat is like, but playoff hockey is amazing. Yeah. You know? For the casual fan, like, I consider myself, since I met you, now I watch hockey because I know him now. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you, know, you know, so, like, that's why I watch it. Like, that's how it I don't works. Have, no, but I was always a casual, <laughs> I was always a casual fan. You were cash. Because my dad was a sports writer and, like, covered the Rangers back in the day. Yeah. So, like, I always noticed that playoff hockey's awesome. Yeah, it's great. It's insane. The atmosphere is insane. Everything counts. I do think, though, they should make the net a little bigger. Why? Just to make the scoring a little higher. But I think that ruin. I think where I think like. <laughs> I love how I'm we really, have like I'm, I'm <laughs> really, we have perfect, we're like we play. <laughs> oh, this is really think, interesting. Do you think there's yeah. not enough scoring? You guys scored a shit ton in the last few games. Yeah, there's a lot of goals, but there's. I mean, it depends in the playoffs. There's tighter games though because you don't give up as much yeah yeah but that's what's exciting about it because every goal really like matters in that way that's why that's what i was going to say if you open it up to being games are going to end like 10 to 13 right it's like not every goal that's why basketball is one of my least favorite sports to go watch in person because the like the fir- first quarter to the third quarter is nobody cares what really is going to happen that's super exciting like yeah. someone's going to get dunked on and then i'm gonna be like all right like there's no sport better to watch the last two minutes of than like basketball, though. It's the, so long. Though. But the best, yeah. I think, the best to watch is is like the Final Four of college basketball, the tournament. Oh, it's insane. That that is that's the, fun. That's the greatest sports thing that is in professional sports. But do you wish they have was high scoring that in college? No, no it's just like Would that make it more exciting. I think it. I think it creates more storylines. Like. College basketball. It's also a one and done. It's one and done. So it yeah. gives it. But like, so is playoff football, which is obviously. I mean, yeah, playoff football is great. We all know how great that is. But like, <laughs> yeah. that's over here. Yeah, we were talking like in terms of like people who considered boring sports. I really don't think that hockey is in there. I don't, but there are people that do. I don't think that anyone thinks it's boring. I think people are just not fans of hockey. Yeah. Also, has a lot of stuff like you don't understand. It's one of those things you have to understand. Yeah. What do you mean? I mean, there's a lot of people that go to games have no clue about the rules. Ask me about like offside and icing stuff. And yeah, I'm but like, offside's like easy to understand. Yeah, yeah when you, you know when, it. Yeah, when you know it. It's like be, us being able to speak English. No, <laughs> uh, no, it's the same. No, it, actually, same way for me with football. Like, 
But when I came over here, I'm like, uh, why are they throwing flags on the field? Oh, oh Rico, no- even to this day, football is the sport that I am the least confident. There's calls I have no idea even exist. No, I know that, but I'm saying, like, you can still follow it. You know why yeah, yeah. and whatever, but in like the beginning, going, I'm like, I yeah, don't that, know I, what you what can you do. And, football is so hard. Like, there's tons of rules on both sides of the ball going on at one time. With hockey, it's like, don't go off sides, and icing is fucking two blue lines or whatever the fuck. Yeah, it was more than that, though. What, what do you say icing was? Not two, not two blue lines, but like... If you, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'm laughing. I don't know what icing. Is. Yo, you know, you know, what I, you don't know what icing is, isn't it? If, if when the, you clear it, right, and it, and and keep going. and the goal and the goalie touches it, it could be iced, right? No, that's not what icing is, though. If what? the goalie touches it, no. If they clear it from their side to the other side, that's an icing, isn't it? If no one touches it, if no one touches it, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you have to that's get past the red line to right. be able to dump it down, right? I meant, yeah, that's what I meant. Not two blue lines. I meant the blue line. It goes past the blue line and the red line without anyone touching it. Right. So yeah. from your team, doesn't it? Does, you can be past your own blue line Is between blue and red and send it down. You have to pass the red line to be able to send it down with, without an icing. I think I'm confusing my yeah, colors of the line. There's two blue lines. There's right. Blue, I know blue, blue and red's line. in the middle. Right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And the I thought you knew about this. No, I did. I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. I love how I was right, kind of. And then you were just like, no, no, no. There's these lines, and you got to cross one. <laughs> no, so I like how confident you were when, when, yeah. I, when I was like, no, no there's offside and icing. Well, that's easy. And then you didn't even know icing. No, I do know icing. It, it, you know what it was? I was just confused. Your, face is, the your face is getting red. Because <laughs> I'm having a good time. I can't have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> That is funny. No. That's icing, offside. You know what offsides. Yeah, I know offsides. But, um, it's the same thing in soccer, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of. What is that? Well, that's what they always do. What is that? Soccer players. Oh, oh. They always oh, do I think you meant yeah. the ref with the fucking flag. No, when they go for that fucking through. Uh... through also, ball. the other question I wanted to ask you about the refs. Yeah. Ha- graceful little fuckers. Graceful little fucks. They're like ballerinas. Yeah, they're hopping all over the puck and jumping on the boards. If I shoot a puck and it hits the ref in the face, is it still in play? Yeah, if he doesn't go down, obviously. Yeah. Then they blow it down, but... Yeah. Did you ask that last time? Yeah, and the other, and the other thing is too, with the face-offs, how do they kick you out of there? What do you have to do to get kicked out of there? Because <laughs> the ref is always like, "Oh no, I don't like you." No, no, no. get the fuck out of here. Fuck <laughs> no, that's actually happened before. I asked a linesman the other day. I'm like, "Why do you kick him out?" He goes, "Well, first of all, he shot the puck away from me when I was about to grab it because he was mad from earlier." So I'm like, uh, "Oh, I did not know they could just kick anybody out for no pity, reason." Pity one. I'm like, "All right." Really? That's funny. But they're no, like they can't kick you out for no reason. But right, they'll right. find something and be like, "No, you're over the line, or you cheated, or you came in early, whatever it might be." That's what I. I mean, I don't fucking know. But I thought it was just like if you come in too early, then they're like, "All right, you gotta get out." You don't I, get like a warning though. That's what I no, thought. Did not, you get a warning? A, not a, not just tap up? tap the A button or whatever no. the fuck. <laughs> the stick, the right stick back. <laughs> fucking. So weird how you guys hold the stick too and you exactly. do face off. Just leaning forward, just going back and forth. All yeah, right. this is gonna sound. When you hold a hockey stick, it's like this. Yeah. I hold it the other way. But when you way, do, but you hold it the other way. Yeah. But <laughs> when you do the face off, you hold it like this? No, no, no. I just turn my bottom hand. Wait. Go back to where you were. Yeah. And then turn. Just, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. 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 yeah you, 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 you just won that. Yeah. I think yeah. I did just win. Yeah. yeah, you did. You're 100%. 100%. Crush that. Have you ever met Wayne Gretzky? No, I haven't. Damn. Uh, no. Yo, probably the most dominant athlete ever. Ugh, now you're getting a little ahead of yourself. Why? Are you seeing the fucking the the I've, records? I know the records. Take away all his assists, he still has more points than fucking number two. I know, but just his goals, or maybe it was no, just his no, 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 no. It's the other way around. It's, yeah, it's just his yeah, assists. Yeah, yeah, that's absurd. It's absurd. I know he was also playing against fucking me and you back then or whatever. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's, you know, he probably got his ass whooped here. I mean, he'd have to work out a lot. That's what I'm trying. Wayne to say. Gretzky looked like a dude who like lived on Cape Cod his whole life. Yeah, and like sold bread. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know that man never touched a single weight. He was just a graceful. Like back in the days, he didn't really have to. Yeah, it wasn't. There wasn't like savages out there. Yeah. Fucking Chara's over there. He put Chara back down. He slap shot all over the place. Fucking banging people's heads together. The guys, what is he? Seven foot nine. When did hockey? <laughs> when, when? Seven foot nine. <laughs> guys, a big guy. When did hockey players start getting jacked? 
dude, all sports. Think about it's it. It's insane. Well, it's it's sports science, you would say, yeah. right? The way yeah. they train. I think they overtrain you guys, <laughs> professional athletes. Come I on. think that's why people get hurt so much. Is because they're over, 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 over training. I don't think it's over training as much as it. <laughs> I love how we're doing this again. I know. Me and him have all these opinions. We're like, no, yeah, you know what? It's not that. We refer to him if yeah. we get too far off base. <laughs> That's what it is. That's, That's all why I'm is. just like a ref here. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. No, you're out of line. We're like, no, no, no. I know what's going on. That's Come. offside. Yeah. What's take take me from a game a, like a in week schedule? <laughs> what do you have from Sunday to the Sunday? Well, we don't always have like you know we only play Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays, but. Um, give me a three game week. Okay. Um, I'll give you this week. So we played yesterday on Monday. One. Um, we won. We got the day off today, full day off, uh, practice tomorrow on Tuesday. Um, then we fly to Ottawa play. No, sorry. That's Tuesday today. Yeah. So fly tomorrow on a Wednesday play on, we always fly in the night before. Okay. Um, so if anything happens that you're not late to the game and you get, uh, one odd and then, um, uh, play Thursday. Um, so you probably practice tomorrow. A workout and then play on Thursday, train in Montreal, practice Friday, play Saturday, come home, play Sunday at home against Winnipeg. That's a lot of hockey. That's a lot of hockey. So you, there's no real like. Doesn't sound like there's a whole lot of downtime. No, there is. I think people like <laughs> underestimate like the, our schedule. Like we're busy, but let's say we didn't have to travel tomorrow. We practice. We leave. I leave the house like eight thirty nine. I come back at two. That's a long ass practice. No, but like the travel there is about 35, 40 minutes back and forth. So you spend an hour twenty in your car, and then oh yeah, because you guys don't train at the garden. You go to no, uh, we go to Terrytown, Gre- Terrytown, Greenberg, whatever. <laughs> what would you say? No, because I think the Knicks Did you say are, Greenberg. Yeah, the Knicks are in Greenberg. Uh, That's where their facility is. No, we have and, the same one. Yeah, so it's yeah, it's technically Greenberg, but it's Terrytown. All right. All right. What is that? It's just like... It ha- it's Are you a, trying it, to just tell us that you know the area? <laughs> yes. All right, cool. No, because I used to go... I used <laughs> to go. Spot. Yeah. yeah. That's, I'm, I'm from there. Did you used to... Uh, from used, Westchester. You used to skate? Yo, you want to go? Ice skating? Yeah. I'll go ice skating. He's going to get triggered right now. Only... This kid hates when we say ice skating. Yeah, yeah true. I can't stand it. Why what do, do you guys say What it? do you guys call it? Just skate. No, we... But I yeah, but people skate. Sk- people skateboard in Sweden. Yeah, like they yeah, roll skateboard. a Skateboard. What about rollerblading? <laughs> Blading? Rollerblading. Ah, uh, yeah, it works. <laughs> what about roller skating? Ooh, wait, what is that? That's like when you go to like... You're dancing and yeah, skating? Yeah, and you go around the like the roller... Break. Yeah, you just said it, roller skating. And you just leave skating to us. Have you guys ever been to one of those? No, I've no, never been to I've a, seen ro- them. a like, roller disco. Movies. Like in Atlanta, they have a lot, yeah, I think. Yeah, Yo, that's like a legitimate derby, thing. Though. Yeah, like, a what is that? A roller derby, that's like where like a whole bunch of like They've, big they, old girls get after it. They are... They're savages. Wait, what? Yeah. So, like, there'll be, like, a team of... There are, like, four of them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, they're all, like, jostling to be in the front. And they literally, like, kill each other. Wait, yeah. it's not, like, dancing? No, no. This is like a race. It's a race, but they're it's allowed like to... Around, like, around, it's like a full contact race. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. you never seen that? I've never even heard of this. Girls roller derby. They fucking kill each other. Yeah. Yo, what the fuck? Can we go? Yeah, I'll go to one. Right after this, we're going. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Wait, I've never even heard of this. I've been, I've been to one of the... What's the if other you, one if called? If you saw it, if just, you saw, a roller rink. Roller rink, yeah. I've been there. If you saw it, you'd probably be like, oh, I know what this is. No. No. Really? I Not wouldn't. the way you responded. Yeah, yeah. because the, the way that you guys are talking about it, like I'm, I didn't know anyone was racing with rollerblades. Yeah. yeah. No, and they beat the shit out of each other. Yeah. This is great. Yeah. Why is this not on TV? I don't know. Remember Slam Ball? Do you know what slam ball do, do you, is? Do you know what no that clue. is? It's like basketball on trampolines. Oh, and I've seen that. And you jump and like dunk and fucking tear your ACL or whatever. Yeah. It's like that game that, what was it called? The, it was like a video game, but it wasn't trampolines. But they NBA Street? No, 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 no. It NBA was Street was fire. Yeah. yeah. They had another game. Like, I can't even remember I don't what know. It was, it was weird when we went to your house and all your video games were in Swedish. <laughs> Remember? I was like, yeah, was can like you a, help me out with this? An update came up, and we thought this thing said abort. We're like, that must mean cancel, so let's just hit that. <laughs> but the guy was like, no, that's like update. I was like, oh, all right, fuck, all right. So let's go over here. So you, what year did you get drafted? Uh, 2011. 2011. God, that's so long ago. How old are you now? 
25. Damn, dude. What, did you just walk in your fucking high school and pick you up? By your fucking <laughs> what's up? You're coming with us. <laughs> hey, what's up? He's ours now. Yeah, you're not going to algebra anymore. Let's go. When can you be eligible to play professional hockey? Um... I think you have to turn 18 before like August 15th or something that year. Okay. So you have to be 18 coming into the league. 18 coming into the league. But yeah. can you be in the AHL younger? No. Uh, no, I don't think so. All right. So you have you have to be professional. You have to, But you don't have to be drafted to be in the AHL, right? No. Not even in the NHL. Not even in the NHL. But that's really rare. And what number did you get picked? Sixth. In the? First round. How many rounds? Seven. <laughs> Damn. It's high praise. It's high praise. It's high and praise. he's on our show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Yo, when did you know that you're like, all right, I'm probably going to be in the league, so uh, fuck all this. Uh, I actually wanted to quit hockey when I was 15, 14 and 15. I'm right. like, I'm done with this. Why? Because I played soccer and all my friends were like, they looked like me and they had like no Swedish connection. The school I went to. Yeah. Uh, and everyone was playing soccer or music, whatever. They were doing other stuff than hockey. And uh, most of my friends were soccer players. So I'm like, I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah. I'm not. Were you like not. really good at soccer or not? Uh, I, would want, I would like to think so. But I was a goalie. So. Right. Um, I play with uh, one of my best friends right now. I play with him when I was 14, 15, 16. And I was about to quit. And then my dad and my mom and my brother was like, no, you're not. Yeah. I'm no. like, all right, I don't know what's going on, but I guess I'll stick to hockey. Well, 14, 15, you got to have a sense that no. I'm going to get drafted. No. Really? No. No, not, no, not even close. Why, why the fuck would he quit if he was like, I'm about to fucking go to the league? Because a lot of people, maybe if they don't want to do it. If they have like inner pressures or... Yeah, maybe man, they being a professional athlete sucks. <laughs> no, no, no. But maybe he wanted to be a professional athlete at something else. Yeah, okay. Some people are lucky enough to do that. <laughs> yeah, Let true. me tell you this. You don't think LeBron could have played in the NFL? Uh, I don't know. He's kind of dainty. He's kind of dainty. Jimmy Graham plays failed college basketball player. He's a gigantic person. So is LeBron. Yeah, but LeBron... You know Jimmy Graham played basketball in college? Yeah. You know Antonio Gates? He also played at UNC, right? You know how much much football he played in college? Like eight downs, probably? Zero. Oh. And he's one of the greatest tight ends of all time. He's a Hall of Famer, yeah. Basketball. That's what I'm saying. If there's any crossover sport... This isn't LeBron James, though. <laughs> hey, first round, six pick. I know. But he's not six nine fucking 280. Yeah, but, but he's also playing soccer. If LeBron played soccer, dude... He's a... Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm not saying he couldn't be a professional. That's, that's all I'm saying. Maybe he had other no, aspirations. there's no way I would be it. Maybe he had yeah. other aspirations in life. If could you go, could if be you... looking at fucking... What's that guy's name from Italy? I forget his name now. God, what, how do I forget this guy's name? Buffon. Buffon. Um, GG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But talk about a sexy old man. But it's <laughs> old yeah, man. Yeah, that guy. Him and Pirlo. That dude. Yo, yo, all those guys on the, on the fucking Italy's national fucking soccer team are just yeah. tan. I feel like they're all naked on a boat all the time. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> like, they're all just tan what are you and shit. Following? I'm just saying. Every time you see them, they're all just like, yes, I do. I'm like, yo, these guys are just like. Those dudes all look like they use so much like hair pomade. <laughs> Every yeah, axe spray. Oh my god! And never wear boxer briefs. They wear like underwear. Yeah, yeah, like legit like Versace. It'll I, be like <laughs> tight ass underwear. I feel like as you get further and further into Europe, the bathing suits get smaller and yeah. smaller. Yeah. You know what I mean? What do you wear when you go to bathing? It suits what? swimming. <laughs> what do you wear when you yeah, go? What do you wear? Shorts. You were yeah, but like, yeah. how short are we talking? You could see like the beginning of the quad, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's not to the knee. Like, why would it do that? Yeah, no. I used to wear like they're tight. Like, I I, I used to wear like you wear, you're wearing tight stuff. Yeah. yeah. Pink. That inseam is high. Pink. Yeah. Inseam is super high. Fuck yeah. You got to keep the net just in case a nut jumps out. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> That's how short we're talking. I feel like when you're thir- no, not that short. When you're 13, <laughs> you cut the net out. Yeah, because I need some, I need some, I need my, it's got to flop around down there. Dude, your dick after like some chlorine and a pool, wrap. Done. Also, that net chafes me up. Yeah. Hurts me. Yeah. You get a little, you get a little burn at the tip of that. You get a little, yo. Yeah, for sure. It's some salt water. If it's fresh water, different story. Yeah. But salt water, come on. It's hurting. I might just hurting right now just thinking about that. You know how to swim, right? Uh, why, why no some people don't I'm know how to do you, do you not know how to do something like that people know how to do you know what i mean like ride a bike ice skate swim oh you can't skate 
Yeah, I but that's skate. not everyone, though. Yeah, what about, like... I, uh, I feel like skating... Thank you. Skating is the, is on the brink of, like, you should be able to do it. It's okay if you don't know how to do it. Yeah. Depends on where you're from, though. Yeah, yeah. Like, here, where, where are you going to skate? Like, if you're Canadian and can't skate, people yeah. are going to be like, what the fuck's wrong? Yeah, yeah like, you're not Canadian. Yeah, yeah, come on. Get out of here. Yeah. All right? Yeah, I understand what you're saying. But, like, here, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't really make sense. I'll, it's almost I'll, like a more of an accomplishment if you can skate here. Dude, I've seen people at Central Park because, like, usually, like, every year I'll go, like, some of my friends will just, like, you know, yeah. skate, have a grand old time, whatever. And you'll see some dudes that are out on dates and they're uh, like, you know, I got it. And they're just like, <laughs> you know what? Why would you bring a girl there if you can't skate? Can I be honest? You too? You're looking at them. You can't skate at all? Not at all. You can't even step one, out on there? One time I went to, I went to Bryant Park with my girl and literally... She can. She used to like take figure skating classes and shit. Is she one of those that goes into the center? I was like, hold on, let me just no, do no, a no, routine. No, 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 no. <laughs> I haven't no. done this in a while, yeah. but no. Let me but try she, and do this triple axel real quick. <laughs> no, but she could do like she could oh, do I like. Nailed a, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. How do, I don't know how I did that. <laughs> but she could do a couple of jumps and stuff. And I was like, you know what? Like, instead of holding on to me, just go. Actually, go skate a little bit. Like, don't just leave me here. It's <laughs> fine. Mistake. I let go of the wall. And I just like this in, into center ice. <laughs> I couldn't stop myself, and I didn't want to fall because I don't know how to get up on skates. So I just let like my momentum. It literally took me to the center of Brian Park ice, <laughs> and she had to come and get me, and I was stuck there, stuck out there. That's amazing. Yeah, that's how bad I am. I can't do it. We gotta teach you how. I don't think I can learn. Yeah, I, can. He's a professional hockey player. Yeah, but he'll be like. He'll be like, yeah, do it like this. I'm like, I'm, I'm trying that. I can't nah, do that. Dude, no, dude, he, he would help you. Out. He could teach you. How, if anyone could teach you how to skate, it's yeah. a fucking hockey player. Well, who are you, fucking? Uh, no, I just Bri I, Brian Boitano over here. No, I don't even know who the fuck that is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't, don't look at me like he's, I know. He's a, he was a figure. <laughs> like, he was figure skater in like the 80s. Oh, a figure skater from the eighties. Name three famous figure skaters: Michelle Kwan, Tanya Harding. Okay, and uh, Tara, Tara Lipinski. Who the fuck is that? Remember, she was like that little girl that was like. I thought that was the swimmer that just like crushed. Who, no, what no, was her no, name? No, no. It was like Lipinski or something. No, no, no. Tara Lipinski. Ludecky. That was a swimmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. From the eighties, I don't know anyone from the eighties. Well, I, I we're from. Yeah, the, you're from. Yeah. I'm from the eighties. You yeah, guys you are born are. in the nineties. Yeah, we are. Um, but yeah, we're we're gonna teach you how to skate. I, I would I, love I'm to saying, learn how to skate. I can teach you from like a person who doesn't really know. How to explain it? Being like, "Yo, just kind of." You bro teach. I probably me. don't know how to correctly do it, <laughs> but I can move out there. You know what I'm saying? I could get in and out. I can, can get kicked really? out of Central Park. Yeah. Can you zip? Yeah, I could. Yeah. Can you stop? Not that well. I don't stop like how hockey players. Stop. Yeah. How do you guys stop like that? You just guys jump on yeah. sideways onto the ice, <laughs> and it's just fucking snow. You know, everywhere. when I was younger, I used to think that was icing. I'm like, yo, this guy just <laughs> icing all over the place. <laughs> icing everywhere. <laughs> Is that a penalty? Call something, ref. How do you learn how to do that? <clears throat> well, you start with um, um, you start differently though. Like when you start to like when they teach you how to skate and s stop, you basically turn your turn your skate this way. In. In you, oh. so you, you kind of like you face kinda, planting French no, fry. You yeah, go French. You but go, it depends you, on how fast you go. Yeah. So you, so you kind of like. Sorry about that. It's the, it's the team. It's the coast. The Get off the basement yard. Get off the basement yard. <laughs> so, oh, okay, that's it. Um, no, so they, so basically, you kind of slow down first, so you don't take a stride, and then you turn your feet inside. Like, so, so you French fry into pizza, basically. What French? What? What are you talking about? Like your feet are straight, like this. French fries. French fries, and then into pizza. Oh, is that a skiing thing? Yeah. Oh, I usually like do the T. Like one, I drag one skate behind yeah, me just to slow yeah, down. That's, that's the like only thing I could do. Though. Huh? That's how you stop on rollerblades, I think. Yeah, that's how I just like. That's why, because like I learned how to rollerblade, which is right. to me it's the same thing. Not like rollerblading, I know what to do. So then you should be fine. No, it's completely different. Yeah, it's, but it's not thicker. though. The it's, wheels are the thicker. the wheels are thicker. You have more ground. Like if I feel my foot moving in that skate at all, I have no like fucking balance. <laughs> tie them well, tight, that's, maybe. That's actually another thing. If you don't time well enough. Your foot will just shake. Or yeah. your feet will bend yeah. in. Yeah, I was fucking like shaking. You know, I almost killed a girl at, at Central Park once. Well, 
Skating, I hope. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It was a lot summer. Of people get killed in Central Park. <laughs> it was summer. Yeah, I almost uh, killed her. Uh, no, I was, I was skating because, like, like I said, I could skate like pretty well. We get it. You could skate. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a really good athlete. That's right? what I'm trying to say. Okay. Uh, so I was going around a circle and I was just like being a dick, like going fast yeah. and like skating in and out of people. And this girl, luckily, she was a girl that I was with. Like it, with our group, and she fell mm. down, and her I would have cut her head off. Obviously, I wouldn't have cut her head off, but I definitely would have like my skate would have went right into her neck, and I like had to hop over her, and then I was just like whoa, whoa, whoa! Save myself, though. I didn't, Save I didn't go down. Don't go. Yeah. Don't the only times her. I fall down when we go is when little kids come flying out of nowhere, or like people are just like. Yeah. That's the best part about going too. It's just seeing people like just lose it. Whoa, whoa. I think that's a big part of it, too, because I'd be afraid to fall down. Yeah. Why? Because I don't want to fall down. I'm a grown man. Yeah. First of all, getting you up, too, is going to be... <laughs> big trees fall hard. Dude. Big tree falls very hard. You know what I'm saying? If I hit that ice, I'm one ice fall away from, like, possibly never walking again. <laughs> in, my, in my mind. In my mind. We might have to drag you off that ice. Yeah. You might look like, what's his name? Marv. From Marv. Home, Home Alone. Home Alone. Yeah. <laughs> you ever see that scene? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-huh. Yeah, great, that's what great reference. Like. Great reference. Great reference. Speaking of Home Alone, what? Christmas is coming. That's yeah, true. I'm so excited. Are three, you spending it in the States? Yeah. Three days off. Woo! Which that's ones? 24th, 25th, 26th. <laughs> I only celebrate the 24th, anyways. Is there a different Swedish Christmas date? Yeah, 24th. <laughs> it's the 24th. Yeah, that's we fire. celebrate 24th. You guys, tw- five? Yeah. 25. Any other different things? Was that? Are you no, about to was fight me? To be, no, I was just huh. like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I told you. Alphabet, different Christmas, different Thanksgiving. Yeah. Suck my dick. Yeah, I'm 0 2 right now. You're 2 0. I, you know. Plus that ask, face yeah, off. man. I'm trying to like conduct a good interview over Wait, here. why is it the 24th? Why? Yeah, well, I, I am asking him. Am I a history teacher? I love how he asked you why. He said why, like, like it was Fight Club. Why? <laughs> Let me tell you why. Why? You don't deserve to know why, you fucking piece of shit. Yeah, but what? You guys don't do Christmas Eve or you do Christmas Eve on the 23rd? Or Christmas Eve Christmas just e- isn't a thing? Christmas, Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve is 20, 24th, no? Yeah. Yeah, so that's what we celebrate. But not the day? Yeah. Christmas yeah, Day. Y- you have to have it. If there's an Eve, there's a day. Yeah, that's when you're hung over and you just chill. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. So he, you got, we're on the same page here. You celebrate on it's Christmas, Christmas Eve. So it's like Christmas. we open our gifts and everything on the 24th. That's Christmas. No, no, no. So some people do that on Eve. That's Christmas. Some people one open, gift. No, that's that's a that's a yeah, you but thing. One gift. That's one gift on Christmas. I Eve. refuse to open anything on Christmas Eve. By the way, I'm never. One of those. I'm one of those guys. Yeah. Wait till the day. What? Well, uh, I'm waking up tomorrow morning for a reason. I honestly wake up er, so early on Christmas just to see all the gifts under the tree. I want to see it. Well, they're going to be gone if you wake up earlier. No, 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 no. It's just like. This is nice. This is nice. <laughs> because Christmas is a fucking hellstorm. If there's kids in your family, you don't have kids in your family. I'm you're, the kid. You're the no. kid. Yeah. Like, I got nieces and nephews. They tear shit up. Oh, we don't do that. We do just our family. Yeah. Opens gifts together. Yeah. What do you guys do after that in the morning? Well, we go to, like, my uncle's house and, like, just hang, just drink and fucking yeah. just drink, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> and why, uh, basketball's on, right? Basketball's on. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Usually great games. Yeah. yeah. It's like uh, LeBron's it, on. Yeah, it's always like Le- LeBron's always on. Yeah. And the Warriors are always on. Yeah. But um, what time did you usually open your gifts on Christmas? Dude, I was up beating my dad's chest like he had a like a heart attack. Just pounding on him. <laughs> Get up. Santa brought a bunch of shit. Yeah. And we need to open that. Yeah. What about you? We do like... Um, we have this Disney thing we always watch at 3 o'clock in Sweden. Like everyone in Sweden? Yeah, in the yeah, afternoon? Yeah. Three. So you have to wait? So we do like, yeah, I, I think so. At least that's what we did. Three o'clock and then after that we open our gifts and we have dinner. Damn, dude, I you guys are patient as fuck. Yeah, I can't. I, I can't. What did you guys what, what watch? What do you mean? You wait until the 25th? Oh, that's yeah, that's true. right. <laughs> yeah, you get it like 24 hours before yeah. us. Yeah. We're sitting there plus the time difference. We're sitting there, we're, laughing. Yeah. We're sitting there laughing at you guys. Yeah, you guys are basically yeah. on the 23rd opening gifts. What do you guys gifts? get? Oh, you don't know yet? Oh, never mind. Damn it. That's like all the Jewish kids. They're like, I was like, oh, you guys don't celebrate Christmas? That kind of sucks. It's like, not really. We got eight days of gifts. I'm like, all right, fuck you guys. Yeah, but from from the intel that I have from Jewish friends, they usually would get like one big gift for like that stretch. Or like a car. 
Yeah, basically. Probably, yeah. yeah. Or so like, you'd rather take, take a, car. a car than 15... Socks yeah, and... Sock. Yeah, socks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dreidel or two. Yeah. That was, my, that was my dad's gift every year. I got socks and an envelope with money. Nice. That's not bad. Like, I'll I take, never I'll get take money. that gift now. Socks? Yeah. I don't want socks. What do you want? Not socks. <laughs> Anything. Get creative here. You know what I mean? I got you a gift already. You got me a gift? Yeah, and it's creative. It's creative? It's not really creative. Is I it one thing or is it multiple things? It's it's technically two things. <sighs> In one? Yeah. Ooh, are there sneakers? No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's two things that go together. What color is it? I can't say. It would give it away if I told you the color. What? That's yeah. weird. Things are tons of colors. Is this, is this something this he's been asking true? for? Um, or hinted at? See, at least? see yeah. here's the thing. Here's the thing. Or you know him that well. He does. He does. He yeah. does. He does quite well for himself. So he could. You could honestly get whatever you wanted. If you want, like, if okay. you don't have it already. That's not like a you know a fucking a plane, yeah. Yeah. So I got you something I that... I just sounded like such a fucking asshole. Yeah, you did. Yeah. You did. I but... could get everything except a plane. <laughs> also, richest guy at the table. Right? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love sock. Richest guy over here. <laughs> I love sock. But, I, love sock. But, uh, I would love the sock. No, I got you something that you, you wouldn't get yourself. <laughs> but you're going to have a lot of fun with it. Oh, Ooh, I'm going to have fun with it. Yes. There's two things. You I'm, can't... I'm leaving it at that. Oh, okay. That's all I wanted to give you. It's a fun thing. Yeah. Oh, it's fun. Yeah. You guys do Secret Santa? Like in the family? <laughs> Not much of a secret. It's just a <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's just no, but like for the, your families? I, no, we do, me and my friends do it. You coming? <laughs> just show up. Oh, you have nobody here for Christmas. No, I have my friends here. I said no to my parents this year. Nice. How'd that go over? That was fine because uh, my mom is celebrating with my brother. And then uh, my dad, I was just like, he's coming on a dad's, dad's trip now next week, I think. Oh, okay. Know. So everyone's dad gets to come on a trip. We go to Florida and Tampa. Oh, Met Mika's awesome. dad. Met Mika's dad. Sent you guys out. <laughs> Sent you guys out. <laughs> Time Time to leave. I'm late. like, yeah, wait, what? Guys got to stretch. You, I'm like, what are you guys? He you also, doing? like, we were hammering shots with your dad, too. Yeah, he loves his tequila. He, he like, loves that Patron. He's yeah. like, all right, guys, Mika has practice tomorrow. And I, I was go, like, and then a whole lot of like <laughs> Swedish like arguments. Yeah, just happened. I've never, I've never thought that I would have a professional athlete friend argue exactly. with his dad in Swedish about his friend staying over too late. So <laughs> I was just hard in this apartment. In this apartment, yeah, I, was yeah, I don't like, live with him. I love. So I told him like, what are you doing? I'm like, we're gonna have a talk about this. It's in just the so, it's so funny though because like you had to be embarrassed a little bit. You think? I feel like it's just funny that like. Growing up, your dad would do that sometimes and just be like, all right, you know, everyone's got to get out, whatever. You know, that shit would happen. And then now it's like you think about professional athletes and you're like, yo, they're these people that are just like whatever. Yeah. But it's just so funny that your dad's still just like, all right. Like, <laughs> well, you got to think about it. That's his son, though. That's how I took no, it. That's how I took it. No, no but it's just, it's just it funny. It's just funny. that like, like it's, it's not like I live with him. Right. Mike, you came here to visit me. You don't tell my hilarious. friends to leave. I, I was cracking up. I well, wasn't. Once you I got was out. mad the whole, the you whole were? day. Yeah. yeah. Nah, I fucking care. It was great. Remember how tired he was when we left the other night? Dude. I I first of all, work. we said your name like three times, and you were just like... <laughs> yeah, we, Sleep with your eyes open. talking shit. <laughs> and so, Keith would wake up and like... He would nap for like five minutes and talk... And then uh, go back we, to sleep. We got to talk about you and Keith have this uh, amazing, amazing. I don't just even know dynamic, dynamic where you guys just make fun of each other all <laughs> night long, constantly. Yeah, it's every five seconds. Like, shut the fuck <laughs> up, Keith. <laughs> And then Keith's like, you say, he always calls you, you fucking Swede. Yeah. And then <laughs> I remember you fucking Swede. <laughs> under his breath one time, he's like, he's like, I keep calling him a Swede, but I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Oh, we'll get there. Oh, oh my man. god, I love it. It get worse when Keith god. gets when Keith gets drunk. Well, he was he was falling asleep. Yeah, uh, this kid's a big sleeper. That kid falls asleep on the train. Yeah, yeah, but cars. I don't I don't know how he recovers that quickly though. I don't know. Like, he told me that night. Yo, that night we had to go to Barclays Center, and then we went to MSG. On the way to Barclays, he was sleeping in the car. He's like, I just need to rest my eyes. I was like, what? Rest my eyes? Like, what are you, 90? Rest your <laughs> eyes. What does that mean? First of all, rest your eyes means go to sleep. It means yeah. sleeping. Just so everyone's on We're the same, same page. page. No, that is sleeping. Yeah. Nap. Napping. H how long's a nap? 
a proper nap. I'd say a minimum nap is half an hour. Yeah. Half an hour. I would say 20 minutes. I would say, okay, 20 minutes an hour. And do, you, know, you know, people say, I just got to take a power nap. Yeah, but some I, people, believe, I believe that, though. Because there what are. What is a power nap? Because if I sleep for two hours, I'll wake up and still be tired. Yeah. If I sleep for 20 minutes, I could get up and move around. I, That's I, a power I used, nap. To, I used to do this thing where I drink before games, I drink coffee before I go to sleep. I drink, I drink a cup of coffee, wake up 40 minutes later, and I feel fresh. You don't feel groggy when you wake up. Oh. How do you sleep after drinking coffee? Because you, you're about to fall asleep. You're like in bed, basically. Oh, so you're drinking. just like chugging real quick. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then you go to bed, and then when you wake up, you're kind of like when it kicks in. Look at that. Damn, it's like shooting heroin into your arm, basically. Yeah, basically. I had, I had probably the worst tip of my life from a buddy of mine. He goes, uh, I have this key nap. I'm like, what the hell is that? He goes, I sleep. And I put like I sleep on the couch, put my arm out, I put my keys in my hand, and then I, you know, you hold them. Mm-hmm. But when you fall asleep, you kind of relax, and then you let go of the keys. And the minute it hits the floor, the floor, you wake up and then you're done. That's terrifying. I also I just, my arm would get tired. About to take a key nap. Same guy. I've done up. that on my phone by accident. Same guy sleeps and he puts the alarm at four a.m. just so he can enjoy the last four hours he's sleeping. Oh, like he sets his alarm, he wakes yeah. up, and he goes, I got four hours. Yeah. You know what? I kind of like that, though. I don't. Because I like waking up knowing I have more time to sleep. Yeah, but you don't like to be woken up at 4 a.m. I'd rather just sleep. What if you What if you can't yeah. go back to sleep? Yeah. Got, got a couple extra hours in your day? A couple? You got a lot of fucking That's extra hours. That's a lot of hours. Waking remind- up at 4 o'clock in the morning is a ridiculous hour to wake up. Yeah, like The Rock does it. Works yeah. out for him. And like Mark Wahlberg also, I'm up at 4 a.m. and you know, I'm in the gym eating egg whites and Ezekiel bread. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like, like, all right. That's cool, dude. Yeah, you're the I man, dude. That. You also uh, blinded a Vietnamese man. <laughs> oh, my God. He did. He, he did. did. He did. He was he in jail. He did. He, went, he did time. We all. Hey, he's rehabilitated. Marky Mark, though. Yeah, he's Marky Mark. Calvin Klein ad's gonna go down in history. <laughs> all right. What a pod that guy had. Oh, jeez. Marky Mark, funky bunch. What's the worst thing you ever ate before a game? I knew it was a mistake. Lasagna. Lasagna. I can't eat at all before any so, it's like kind any of type sport. Of cheese. Game. If I go to play flag football, I don't eat. Yo, what if you got a shit? Yeah. Have you ever had the shit on the ice? Not even on the ice. Like, once the game starts, right? The first period starts, and you're like, oh, no. Yeah. Like, you're about to take the opening face off. You're like, I got a shit. Yeah. What are you, like, on, Like when you get to the bench, you're like, yo, I'm going to be right back. No, I don't <laughs> think I've ever been a part of that. But. Yeah, because you guys, first of all, you guys wear so much shit. Taking a shit is probably Oh, tough. my God. So you have you <laughs> well, you're used to it by now. No, but you have that fucking girdle, right? Yeah. The leg pants. pads. Uh huh. The, the pants. Yeah. yeah the, pants. the socks. The skates. Yeah, but you don't. You just need to get your pants, pants off. off, and then you're good. Yeah. Wait. So wait. 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 You don't have to take that big belt off. That big girdle thing. The back protector. Well, you gotta like just kind of scooch it down. It's part of your pants. Yeah. Oh, is it really? Yeah. I thought it was a separate piece of equipment. No, no, no. Uh-huh. It like sticks up at the back. Yeah. Yours is always poking out. That's why I thought it was. Like no, my a, jersey's always tucked in because I always skate so low. So my and the, the jerseys are tighter now. Yeah, because they're, they're fresh though. Still waiting on mine, by the way. Um, <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> Christmas is coming. Christmas is coming. But um, yo, by the way, I just wanted to bring this up before I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Your reaction to something like kind of reminded me of it. Where you're like, oh, I kind of like that though. I just why where did this come up? Was I with you about the reverse the the preemptive wash? Before you go to the bathroom? Oh, that, no, but I'm a big fan of that. What's that? When, you, when you're in like a club or a bar and you go to the bathroom, when do you wash your hands? After. Normal people do after. after yeah. But someone just opened my mind. I forget who it was, but someone just opened my mind to when you go in there, you wash your hands first. Yeah, but then you get to tip the guy extra. What? He has the worst job of history. No, 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 not that guy. I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> he might have the worst and uh, most unnecessary job ever. Yeah, it is kind of necessary. Like, because yeah. like you got to give him a thousand dollars. No, but I always tip him well because I know if there's a line, you always cut because he'll be like, "Nah, you come here." Yeah, yeah, you guys yeah. Wait. No, I did that in Vegas. I'll always make out. sure, especially with tipping, you have to see me tip. It's like George Costanza. Yeah. You have to see me tip, or I will not tip. Yeah, I have to be like. 
I'm 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 a selfish tipper. Me too. Because it's like, hey, look, I'm helping you. Yeah. I, I is that's fucked up, isn't it's, it? I don't want credit. Actually, no, I want credit. I I just like it's not about the money. It's about like see that I didn't scumbag you. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Like because yeah, if, but I feel bad. Like, how, how often you go and you don't have cash though? Oh, They're almost almost nice. every time. Yeah, but I you feel you like it's piece of it shit. Up. Yeah. I, I leave pretty good tips. Do you have Venmo? Yeah, so the bartender, yeah. what's your Venmo? I'll just send you a yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll hit you up. Under the tape. No, but like, I feel like... The preemptive wash, though. So this is what I'm talking about. When you're going to the bathroom, right, you walk in, you wash your hands first, and then you go to the bathroom. Because your dick isn't the thing that's dirty. Because we showered before we got here. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? My Some, dick's clean and ready to fuck. Some of us. <laughs> right? Some of us. Some of us. Right? The bar... And the air, and the subway or the Uber or whatever, that's where the germs are. Mm-hmm. So in a way, you're kind of disrespecting your own dick if you're putting all those germs on it and then washing it after the fact. Your dick still got the germs on it. But if you wash beforehand, clean hands, clean dick, boom, bang, now you got clean hands. You know, that so, actually made a lot of sense. See? The preemptive wash. Yeah, but how do you wash your hands, though? Do you, like, just do water or no, you get no, no. soap on there? Sometimes I just do water if I'm like, I'm getting the fuck. Getting out so of that's after. not washing your hands. Afterwards? Yeah, no, but if I, I take a people... shit, I'm, I'm like, doctor scrubbing in for surgery kind of washing. Yeah. But peeing, I'm like, I'm peeing. You guys have friends that don't wash your hands after they pee? Yeah. In my house, I never wash my hands after I pee. That's gross. In your own house? What if you pee on your hands and you don't even know about it? How would oh, I not you, know? I think know. I would not. <laughs> I think I'm not always. Like, well, my hands are numb. I could feel piss, piss on them. <laughs> I don't know about that. I get, if I pee on my hand, also, how would I get my hand even in front of the hole here? Maybe you got a big old dong. Nah, no, but I'm saying fucking... if you're... No, I'm saying when you're out. It doesn't splash back. I mean, it sometimes. I hate the splash back of a urinal. Oh, I hate it. Yeah. I don't... Uh, also, how far are you from the urinal when you piss in public? There are some guys that just go in there and whip that cock out. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? And they're pretty deep. And there's two walls. Yeah, it's like, get in try- the wall! It's like you're trying to set a record <laughs> over yeah, here? Yeah, get in the wall. All yeah. right? There's no fucking clown mouth that you're trying to pee in and win a prize here. Yeah. Just I, fucking step in there. I get in there. I get in there. Yeah. I, hide, I hide this dick. I, I do. <laughs> I do. I'm selfish. Oh, this is another pet peeve of mine. There's four stalls. You pick the one to the wall. There's three other ones. Why do you go next to me? Yeah, why are you standing next to me, dude? Why? Yeah. Why? That's a little weird. I don't like that. Yeah. Even if you go in and there's 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 it's full, the, the middle one opens up. Or like there's four of them. So you, you take the middle out? left. No, you take it. They leave. The next guy comes in. He still has the wall on the other side, like one in between you. Yeah. And he still comes, stands right next to you. Why? Yeah. It's close peers. It's what? It's close peers. It's just people with no regard. Like, there's there's rules to this bathroom. You can't just come in here and sit on my lap and pee. I I once went to a bar that had one of those ice troughs. Those are what? What is this? So it's basically like you go. It's a sink. This was like three years ago. I mean, it's a sink. It's a sink. It's It's a a big sink. It's a long sink that you go in and pee in, and there's just ice there. There's ice. Just ice. There's no wall. It's like on the floor. No, no, no. It's like it's raised like where like a urinal height. Yeah. But it's not your own personal one. It's just a fucking long thing. It's like pissing in a bathtub. Basically, you're pissing in tubs with ice. So. I remember I walked into the bar. I had to pee so bad, I didn't do it. What'd you do? I went somewhere else oh. and peed in a real bathroom. Yo, that's so dumb. I, what, that I did that? No, 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 no. Why are we making this thing? I don't want to whip my fucking cock out. No. And I'm drunk, too. I'm going to be there for 10 minutes peeing. Yeah. I, dr- I pee forever when I'm drunk. Yeah, but we have we have those, uh, especially one stadium. Uh, they have some music festivals and like soccer. They have, it's just a wall. And there's like, it's like a competition. It's like, um, there's like different marks on it, how high you can pee, but there's nothing. It's just, you, you're standing on basically like a, almost like a fenced whatever floor. You're just pissing straight down. You have nothing to piss into. Oh, you're just pissing through like a grate? Yeah, almost. So yeah. You're standing on a grate and you're pissing right down and 15 other guys are standing next to you fucking bumping into each other. Just pissing on the ground? I would feel weird. Piss, 
Yeah. I've, I, Brown I, urinals? Like, in, like. Yeah. Those are weird. When was the last time you took a piss outside? Like out in the wilderness? Yeah. <laughs> in the wilderness. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Here it yeah. is. When was the last time I broke the laws? You're asking. Yeah. When was the last time you, you know public you get urinated? Caught, you know. You know. You know. If, you know if you get caught pissing in public three times, you have to register as a sex offender. Shut up. I swear to God. I would say after two, I would probably stop pissing outside. After one, I'd be <laughs> like, listen, I got two strikes. I can fucking. I've had friends that have gotten that. The the drunk in public and public urination. I've never got caught. Obviously, I've pissed outside on well, n- numerous occasions. When's the last time though? Uh, I would say fairly recently. Like I've, when I'm drunk and I have to pee and like. I can only... Yeah, but you guys live out here. Yeah. You can't do that in the city. No, you can't pee in the city. I live in the city. Of course you would. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. It's hard to piss in the city. You can find some places, though, in the city. Yeah. Like, I'd make it work. There was one time when I was in the city for St. Patrick's Day when I was like 15 years old. Not 15. Yeah, I was like 15. 17 years old, and I had to piss so bad, and all the bathrooms of all these places were like, no, 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 because like, they don't want drunk people coming in. Yeah. Everyone's underage, too. I had to find a, I had to find a place. Yeah. And I, I panicked and I pissed, but no one caught me. But I did one time at a football game, I was pissing in between cars and this guy was just, I guess, looking for a spot and just stopped right there and was looking the other way. And I'm peeing. I'm like, I'm already too into this pee to like, stop. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm like finishing up my pee and the guy just turns the other way and he just sees me and I'm just like, what are you going to do? You got me. So the guy saw me pissing. It's pretty fire. It's pretty dope. Like pissing in front of friends. Professional athlete. Always wanted to ask this question. Here we go. Yeah. Do you, are you guys always really naked in there? What? Some guys. Some guys. Oh, oh, in the showers. Because I, no, the reason no, I... Like, I was naked in... In, in showers? Like, what, what are you... Shower with your clothes on? That's what I'm saying. No, 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 no. But I'm saying, here's why. Because, like, you're doing interviews in there. Are you ever doing an interview? Like, they wait for you guys to shower. No, no. They come five minutes after the game. So, you so, can, so, so, so someone's walking around hanging brain? No, no, no. Because right you have the locker room and then you have a change. Uh, oh, okay. Change oh, I thought back. you could be like, yeah, you know, uh, we dumped it in there pretty well. And then someone's dick is just hanging out yeah. behind there. It's like, yeah, you know, yeah, we're doing the thing. You know, we're dumping the puck. We're getting after the ice, you know, out there. <laughs> and the guys just walk around in the background. That happened once. And, and if you look online uh, in, a, in a football locker room, yeah, they, they were interviewing some guy. And then someone in the background, like their towel wasn't uh, big enough. And like you saw half shaft. Ha- hammer. I, I mean, I don't really remember. I just remember there being a peep. Yeah. You know? How can you not remember? <laughs> but do you guys have... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so the garden has private showers? No, like, what do you mean private like, what, showers? Like, is it like player showers? It's in our locker room. Yeah, it's in their locker room. Right. I know it's in the locker room, but do you have like a little separation? Oh, he's asking if it's just like a shower, like just for you, like a door, or is it just like an open no, thing? They have they have like stalls. Oh, all right. It's like a prison shower. Yeah, it's basically what it it's is. It's open, but, but they, there's, there's like, walls. Uh, there's like drapes for it. Oh, is there? Yeah, wanted, see? Wanted, that's what I'm I saying. Think the Knicks wanted to do like the doors. I don't know why, but. Oh, wow. See? That's what but I'm saying. It, it's not like how it used but to But no be. one really cares. All right. Yeah. Because we have the hot, like the hot and cold tub right behind it. So when you go to the gym, you dump that dick out? Or you wear I don't underwear? shower at the gym. Okay. You're, well, you shower, you shower in high school? I wouldn't dump that dick out at the gym, though. I would never dump my dick out in I'd public I'd dump my dick anywhere. out in front of my teammates, though. My I teammates. Did, I never did that. I, I don't really care that much. In front of my teammates, we I don't, don't care. don't have stalls at our training center. It's just like four showers, four showers. I yeah. just, like, just taking shifts. <laughs> oh, my God. That makes it sound a lot 20, worse than it is. 20-second shifts, just like on the ice. Yeah, right? All right, go, go, go. <laughs> I'm still soapy. I need oh fourth God. line. Oh man, God, that's hysterical. Yeah, but. but um, one thing I wanted to ask you guys a question, not not be related to being naked or in a shower, but uh, I saw an article where this ATM was giving out hundred dollar bills. Where is it? Wait, giving it like by accident? Yeah, no, well, me... ATMs don't pay in hundreds, so. No, no, no. That, but no, some. some so if you were asking hundreds. for like forty dollars instead of two twenties, we give you two hundreds. We give you two hundreds. What? Okay, what's your question? Would you? Call somebody and give the money back, or would you keep it? Who do you even call? First of all, no is the is the answer. <laughs> what I'm saying. I'm just asking. I'm I would take asking. my card out and put it right back in and keep making transactions and take as much money as I could. It's an ATM. It's not an old woman. I'm not robbing somebody. Yeah, but it would be suspicious because 
that's how they get you on the fraud stuff, right? Oh, if you keep using your card and no, yeah. if you keep using it for low amounts, because that's what you, they usually do. They try for low amounts to make sure it works, and then they go on the higher ones. Ah, uh, yeah, just kid. Are you sure you're in the NHL? Yeah, right. Are you actually Mika Zaibana? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, like I would do it. But the other thing that I would be afraid of is getting caught if I kept it. But what are they going to do? Make how, you give it back? Yeah. And dude, it's not like a million dollars. It's 500 Yeah, bucks. but if you go to get 40 bucks or 100 bucks mm-hmm. and you get 500 bucks. You're not going to jail for $500. No, no. But if 10 people do it, that bank's taking a hit, dude. They wouldn't fucking know. It's a bank. Obviously, they knew. They caught on. They was giving out $100 bills. Awesome. I know. Where was this? Uh, I will find out right now. Close to here? We can take my car. <laughs> <laughs> nothing like that ever happens to me. What What doesn't happen to you? You don't find money? I like nothing like I've found money before. That's the greatest feeling in the world. Finding money. Even finding your own money in your pocket, you're like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Finding $5 in your pants after like you haven't worn them in a week? $10 million. It's $10 million. Yeah. It really is. You have no idea what we're talking about, do you? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I cannot relate yeah, right now. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We understand. What did you do the first time you made a million dollars? Well, it took me two years. <laughs> yeah. What uh, was your first purchase? Like when you were like, yeah, I'm a millionaire now. Bought a car. What'd you buy? Bought a Lexus RX. Good for you. 300, big body. Or 350. 350. Damn, I don't know anything about cars. It's all right. What'd you buy? <laughs> Nothing. A what? house. A house. That's a real investment. I mean, I gotta start saving money. I wish I would have bought a car. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta start saving money. <laughs> no, but the ATM was in Texas. Oh, God damn it. Mistakenly, mistakenly dealt at. Yeah. Uh, dispense $100 bills. Wait, how can that happen? Instead don't they tens. have to like instead of tens? Don't oh they? My God. Don't okay. they? Oh my god! Instead of tens, don't they have to like put the money yeah, okay, so in? Do they, do they multiply by ten then? Is that how they, how they do it? So if you got a hundred dollars, because you know how you can pick the bills. I don't think so. No, you yes, can. you can. Yes, you can. At Chase, you can. In a bank, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you go to the ATM, you could pick yeah, if you want like five twenties. It's an ATM though. At, the at ATM. a bank or like at a, like a deli. At the ATM, you could choose what okay. bills you want. So they said tens, and they and they gave hundreds. Yes, because how? I'm all over that. Yeah, because how else would these people be getting a hundred if they weren't picking tens? Well, let me ask you a question. Okay. Different scenario, sort of the same thing. All right. You're walking down the street, right? Right over here. You're walking down the street. Actually, not over here. I don't know where you are. You're in the Central Park. Okay. And you're walking along. All of a sudden, you're like, "What is that?" And there's just like a duffel bag by a tree, sort of hidden. And you open it, there's $500,000 cash. Do you take the money? 100%. Not yes. a chance. You're not taking it? No. Why? Right. I might die. That's what I would think. I'm like, yo, someone is Because someone is picking that up. Yep. And someone might be on their way. And or watching. Yeah, because you, you wouldn't leave it and then not watch who's picking it up. It's true. Like, you leave it and you make sure that they pick it up and then you leave. Yeah. You know what I would do? I'd move it. And stay there. Here's why. Wait, what? Here's why. I'd move it to another location, right? Okay. And go back to that spot and sit there and wait to see who, who comes and gets it. I'm automatically out as a, as a potential suspect. I don't know what's going on. I would be more worried that someone would be like, where's my fucking it? money? Like Are you someone... moving it so you can take it after? Yeah, moving it so I'm I can take it, it after. I'm not taking it. I'm taking it. No Yo, chance. where do you put 500K anyway? You can't put I, it in the bank. I can find places. And you're going to put it in your walls or you're putting it in your mattress? Yeah. Or like, dude, it's a lot of cash. It's a lot of cash. It's a, like physically a lot. I know. Did you see the $9 million with fucking Tiger and Phil Mickelson? No. It showed. Oh, like, they showed cash? Yeah, it was insane. $500,000 probably. It's a lot, dude. Like a lot of bills. Like to, to hide that. Yeah, but you're and, hiding and it. And how do you spend it? How do you wash it? You don't. You you just don't buy big shit. You just go to a strip club and you just go. No, absolutely. No, would shit. you? Would you? Uh, would you sell it? Sell my? Oh, like sell it for like two hundred k? Yeah, you get <laughs> this for. Give me two fifty. And take the five hundred. 
Oh no, I'm keeping the 500. No. Oh wow. No, no. I wait, are you talking? Wait, what are you talking about? Selling money for less? Yeah, because then you won't be like it's you don't have that 500 on you. You would get real money. Well, it's real money. I would, I would say like someone else buys this 500 because it's riskier to have that 500. You don't know who you're dealing with. But if someone buys you, like it's still two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, that you that you found. I'm gonna keep it to five hundred. No, no, no. You don't give away the. You gave. You give. Okay, so you have it, or yeah. I have it. I say, do you want five hundred thousand dollars? Give me two hundred fifty. And I give you two hundred fifty. You give me the five hundred. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I keep, see what he's saying. I'm keeping the five. I'd be too afraid. No, I'll, I'll I would be look. Dead. I would. I wouldn't pick it up and start running. I'd. I'd look around a little. There's no one around. Oh, then I'm taking it. I don't. Know. How are they gonna find me? What, what, for, what forensic drug dealers are there out there? Lifting fucking fingerprints? I don't know. No, but there's no way you're leaving $500,000 at Central Park and you don't watch over it. That's why I was saying my original plan. All right, so I will Take s- it, hide it, return to the scene of the crime, see whoever comes around looking for it, then I know who I'm dealing with. I'm going to be honest with you. But you, then they're taking it. No, 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 they're not. Because they're going to be like, oh shit, it's not here, and then leave. See what I'm saying? This is really working out well in your favor in your mind. <laughs> no, because this is what I would do. I would move it. Okay? We get it. Hide it. Where would you hide it? See, that's Central Park. It's hard. Then you might as well just take it home. No, 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 because I would be afraid that somebody was following me. Oh, so no one's going to follow you to your hiding spot? No, 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 no. Maybe they do, but I would take a chance of me just moving it and then see if somebody came after me. I wouldn't want them to follow me home. I got people there. Yo, one time I thought I, I found mad money. Like I was on my bike. <laughs> you thought you found mad money? Yeah, because listen, I was on my bike and I was like, whatever, I was in the street. And I was like, oh shit, was that a wallet? So I turn around, I go back and I pick up the wallet. There's no like license in it or like credit cards. Because like, I- I've lost my wallet a couple times and like I- I've gotten it back, thankfully. So yeah. I was going to give it back, but there was nothing in there. But there were these bills in it. That were foreign. I didn't know where they were from or whatever, but they were like big ass bills. Like one was like ten thousand, ten thousand, forty thousand, forty thousand, and then like two thousand five hundred. And I was like, "Yo, what is this?" Yeah, right. So I, I'm like, "Yo, I don't know what." Blah, blah, blah. I don't really remember what country it was from, but it was, it like was yen. It was literally like thirteen bucks. Fuck. I'm oh, like, so why do we it? have? Yeah, I took that shit. If you find a wallet, do you when you were a kid? <laughs> Not now. Not now. This kid when finds you, a wallet, he fucking were, throws it in the yeah, garbage. When you were a kid, <laughs> if you found a wallet, would you take the money? Yeah, leave the wallet. Yes. I, I, I'm a big fan of if somebody finds my wallet. Keep the cash. Keep the cash. Leave, give me my wallet. I just need the driver's license and I need the cards. I, I would Please, be, I would take be, the fucking cash. Yes. Because you, you're not going to be able to do anything with the credit cards anyways. No. No. Uh, you're going to cancel it. You don't need that. You don't need my driver's license. No. Odds are you don't look like me. Just give me it. <laughs> just give me the shit. I don't want to go to the DMV. I don't want to go there. I don't want to sit in line. I got to buy a new one. I would be totally okay if the etiquette was like, if you find a wallet, keep your cash, but return the wallet. I have an amazing story for you. I would tell a person, like, take all the money in my wallet. And I'll keep you? my cash. An amazing story. Who carries you. like hundreds and hundreds of dollars on them? Listen, uh, when I was 17 <laughs> years old. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, uh, oh man. No, not me. I, I don't love the that. casual uh, wallet drop. I uh, yeah, right love it. You're paying for everything tonight? Yeah, Uber too? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Woo! Yes! And we're going out to dinner. It's fucking lit. All right, here we go. Oh, no, I when it. I was 17 years old, mm-hmm. didn't have a lot of money. Mm. And... I had the cash on me and like my bank card and my wallet. I made a phone call from a pay phone. One of the last pay phones. I'll never forget it. In, uh-huh. white, in the White Plains Mall. The Galleria in the mall, White Plains. I left my wallet there. So I go home. I have like the gifts that I bought. I had like $300 in cash in this wallet. Lost it. Left it. Went back. It was gone. Mm-hmm. A week later... I get it sent to me in the mail, an anonymous letter, cash, still in the wallet. And the person said, hey, Danny, found this. Hope all is well. Everything's still in here. Merry Christmas. Anonymous. How, wow. ama- how amazing is that? That is not something I would do. I would have took that money. Yeah. Me, I'm just being honest. 
I would have took that money and left the wallet right there on top of the fucking thing. I, that's that's a story that you hear that would only happen around Christmas time, where someone's like, you know what? I'm feeling giving. I'm here's a bang, you know, like a free ticket into heaven. This is gonna. If f- this was June, funny that you said you're heaven. not getting that. Back. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's funny that you said heaven because honestly, I was like, yo, this this is like an angel. This is an angel <laughs> <laughs> that did this to me. Yeah. yeah, it was. I shit you not. Like one tear came out of my eye. I wanted to cry. It was so nice. They didn't even sign it or anything. It was like a really nice script. I think it was Santa Claus. <laughs> oh. From the mall? Yeah. Yeah, Santa Claus from the mall. Do you guys have Santa Claus in Sweden? <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm up Why to, to yes! three. <laughs> I got one before we ended the show. So Dumb question. When did your parents tell you that Santa wasn't real? And when did you find out that Santa wasn't real? Did your parents tell you or did you find out? Oh, I found out. I, I like speculated. Googled it probably. No, but I can't remember when it was. To be honest with you, <laughs> Googled it. I was I was old. I was old. Tell. I know you've told this story before, but tell them the one about how your mom conjured up this amazing fucking yeah. scheme about a fucking fake elf. Yeah. My- jo- <laughs> Joe's obsessed with Santa Claus. Yeah. And wouldn't stop writing him. No, 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 I wrote him a letter. I was like, oh, I'm going to write him a letter, like, blah, blah, blah. And I t- at the end of it, I was like, you know, maybe we could be pen pals and shit, right? Oh, boy. So I write him a letter. Here and then go. my mom, like, obviously, she's like, yeah, you should write him a letter or whatever. And my mom is like, she's a secretary. Her handwriting is like unbelievable. It's and immaculate. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And she wrote me a letter back as an elf named Jingles in the most, like, cursive fucking, like, uh, oh my God. lettering or whatever and wrote me this whole thing about how like you know Santa's busy so he can't be, be be your pen pal basically like shut me down yeah in the nicest way possible and was like but just you know I'll tell him you said what's up whatever and then I found it the next morning I was like yo when do you fucking find out? elf was in here what yeah. when do you find out about that 12 no no 12's old you said late so I, I thought 12 like how old, how old are you when you're 12 you're 12 <laughs> Oh I, I, I meant, <laughs> I meant uh, like eight, like twelve? like. Uh, I gave him a your, second to correct himself, but he just kept looking at me. <laughs> no, I meant like, what grade is that? I think sixth grade. No, it was or seventh then. grade. It was before then. I think it might have been like fourth, fifth, fourth or fifth. Fourth or fifth. That's late, dude. Yeah, it was late. Mother, I think motherfuckers thought Santa was coming to town. Hell yeah, bro. I like, like speculated and no one was like, everyone was like, yeah, like, but are I you, still like, yeah. Are you going to let your kids believe in Santa? F- Yo, I'll kill, I'll murder a child who tries to tell my kid, Yo, Santa's not real. Oh, I'm boy. like, yeah, really? Fucking, is this real? That's a big deal. Oh, no. I have the worst story with that one. Do what? you? Yeah. So we we're, uh, I played in Binghamton during the lockout. Um, the AHL team, we have a, what, what the hell is it called? It's, it's like a, is it, Booster Club is that a thing? Yeah, whatever. What the fuck that is. Bing- okay, so Bing- like Binghamton a, Booster Club. This is like a fan club, I guess. Yeah. For for us, um, and we had Christmas dinner. Uh, everyone's kids are there and whatever. And then you have to go. The rookies, the oh, no. the new guys have to go up and say, "What's your favorite memory about Christmas?" One guy comes up, the Clayson, who plays with me here in New York now. He goes, "Ah, I love a turkey." That's all he <laughs> says. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone goes, "What now?" I love a turkey. Yeah, that's literally how it sounds like. Next guy comes up, he goes, um, "I love <laughs> Christmas. I love Christmas, but I think my favorite memory when I was uh, when I told my four, uh, I was fourteen and my sister was six or whatever, and I told her uh, Santa wasn't real. <gasps> it got so quiet in that room. I've never. Everyone was like, "No, no, no, you didn't." Were there kids in there? Kids were there. Oh my god! Who was this? Um, he got traded to Edmonton now. From Ottawa. Oh, what a scumbag. That was the Jesus. funniest thing I've ever been part of. He Did he know to, what he was doing? He didn't. He must have re, not. He, or no, like a language re, barrier he, or something. He, no, he's from here. He's from <laughs> St. Louis. Oh, my God. He's from St. Louis. I thought he was like Russian or something. No, 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 no. Santa not real? <laughs> I said Santa was not real to my six sister. <laughs> six sister. How old are you she when you're She cried six? for yeah. two days. How old are you when you're six? Yeah, six. How old are you when you're 12? You know no, but he... <laughs> You so must have been like, pun- you fucking idiot. His punishment, he had to come to the rink and leave the rink in an elf costume for two weeks. Yes. That's awesome. That's great. That's great. Still uh, probably not worth the souls that he crushed that oh day. Probably not. I can't even he had imagine. He to apologize. 
imagine being a kid and being like, oh my God, that's a hockey player. Like, and he just yeah. goes, yeah, bro, shitting on your holiday real <laughs> quick. And you're like, all right, thanks, man. Canada's oh, the same Christmas, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think so. Yeah. Quick one. You two, both big followings, professional athlete, professional something. <laughs> Yeah. Um, what's the weirdest fan interaction that you guys have ever had? The weirdest? Yeah, like like something like that place like place or like what they said. Both. Well, I mean, I have two. One of them I talked about. Someone came to my fucking mom's house on Easter and tried to pay me to go to their party, which was absurd. Yeah, that's I wasn't insane. even home. Yeah, it was fucking insane. Easter. Yeah, it's insane. But also, like, I've been in bathrooms, and like I'm at a urinal, it's like, yo, are you Joe? And I'm like, no, I'm fucking pissing. Yeah. First of all, I hate that question. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, if you, you know who I am. So don't ask that. Yeah. I think that's a question for them to try to humanize you. Like, they don't want to come at you like you're like a giraffe in the zoo. <laughs> so that's why they'll be like, hey, are you Mika Zabanajad? Oh, you're not? Okay. You're never going to ask somebody that. Yeah. They know who you are. Dude, it's happened before. My friends will do that. Like, some someone will come up and be like, "Are you Joe?" My friend's like, "Nah," and he's like, "All right." One time, someone came up to me and was like, "Yo, are you Joe?" I was like, "Yeah, man, what's up? Nice to meet you." He goes, "No, you're not." And I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, I am." And he's like, "Nah, you're not, man." And then he left. I was like, "All right, say it." I don't know. Yo, suck my dick then. No, I mean, I, I thought it was hilarious. Like, I don't mind people coming up to me. I just like don't want to. It's like unnecessary conversation. See, but you're in a you're in a profession where like autographs are like a big thing. Yeah. yeah. How many is a, a, too many? I'm saying for me, ten. <laughs> ten. Like, like, like after I like if I just exerted myself, played a game, and like I want to go home, played ten. a professional game, Play, played a professional professional th- hockey game, yeah. professional <laughs> hockey sports game, yeah, a sports game. <laughs> I played a professional sports game. 10 and then i'm like hey guys i got i gotta go like what's the exit line the exit line i i hate not signing for people that's what i'm saying i don't think i've ever seen you turn down an autograph ever i I always do kids first though yeah kids first and whatever and if i'm like in a rush then i always just do the kids or yeah so like if some if you know like a guy comes up to you with like eight things though you know he's probably gonna try and sell it yeah yeah like but I don't do, you, sign do you care do yeah, you care I about know that if, i know if they're gonna try to sell it because you can only sell it with a blue pen blue marker basically oh. I, th- I think that's what that's I, I think that's a thing so sometimes you go uh so people like back in the days when they did that they go okay who's it for oh they, they would sign it to this yes but now they found like this eraser so they'll just they go, yeah, uh, to Chris. And then when they come home, they take that out. Still sign it. So what I do with the blue pens, if I know, like, okay, I've seen them before, whatever. Sometimes I, like, I've been told this. It's actually a smart idea. If it's like, you had one of them. Why do you need 10? I don't get it. Uh, you sign. So we, it's perfect. We're blue. So I sign the blue on my jersey. So you can't see my name. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Very smart. Scumbag. Yo, you know what uh, Daniel Radcliffe did once with like paparazzi? I mean, kind of the same thing. But um, when he was, I believe he was filming one of the last Harry Potter movies, he would leave the studio in the same exact outfit every single day so that they couldn't sell the pictures because it didn't look like a new picture. Oh. So it's like you're taking those pictures, but it's like, this is from two days ago. It's like, no, he's just wearing the same outfit. It's like, well, it looks That's the same. That's very smart. That's very just smart. Just fucking with the paparazzi like that is hilarious. Yo, and I just learned that Taylor Swift got carried around in like a chest. Yeah, Adele too. Wait, Why? Why? Like a like a like a suitcase. So like so she like to get in and out of venues, they put them in like roadie boxes. Like, and you know, carry like them equi- in like equipment boxes. Yeah, yeah. They'll put her in there and put her in and take her out, so nobody knows when she's leaving in, in an arena. But why? To, for security, probably. Yeah, but now you know it. Yeah, but yeah, now people aren't going to be like, she's in this one. You're not going to have like a check all the boxes. Check all the boxes. (laughs) No, but I just don't really think about it. It's genius. Dude, I can't subject myself cramming in. I'm Taylor Swift. I'm not cramming into this thing. Uh, That's true. For screaming fans. Adele's done that. Why can't I just walk in? 
What's the, why, what's, what's okay, the problem with that? When is it? Yeah, like to the venue? Into the venue and out of the venue. Well, no, she car? was doing it all the time. Yeah, like to get onto like stage and shit. No, like leaving her apartment. Like she was getting into a box. Whoa. Really? No. Yes. I thought it was just like at venues. No, she was just, she was boxing no, it up. Even venues, I don't get it. They have the backstage. What That's are what they saying. hiding? Yeah, why are you hiding? Like, what are you, you're, it's, no one's going to try and assassinate you. Yo, you never, dude, you never know. Right, no, but, but you have the security for a reason, right? Yeah. All the passes and stuff. Otherwise, everyone will run yeah. around. So why? Cause you're, for fun? Because you're nuts. No, but that's that's actually a thing. Like, when you do something crazy like that, it's just because you can't. That's what I'm saying. We were talking about the other day. Sometimes you get so famous that you just do, that you shit? Just do shit because you can do it. Normal <sighs> shit is not, is not, it's not going to get you off. Man, I wish I knew someone nuts. You know, well, like famous and nuts, or just nuts. No, like, like you're so famous to the point where you're like a, like you're like you do psychotic things. Like, like <laughs> you know what I mean. I think Blazarian like tries to do it. He's he's human. He he's too he's human. He's you know hu- what I mean. He's human. Like yeah. he could walk around most places, and most people wouldn't know who he is, even though he has a huge following. Uh, I, I, I would say they would probably recognize he's, him, but probably not go approach him. Right. right. Not Jay Z. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, do you think Jay Z wants to go to like no, do normal people shit? No. Did I, did I ever tell you I'm that done, story? He's done it all. He's done it all. I ever tell you that story? But Ed Sheeran said one time he had a he did a concert like at MSG or Barclays or something. Beyonce and Jay Z came to the yeah. show and they went to a dive bar afterwards. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. I would have paid a million. Not, I would have paid like two hundred bucks. But I would pay like two hundred dollars <laughs> just to see them in a dive bar. Yeah. Like, when is that happening again? Yeah, it's true. Never. Yeah. Never. Real quick question. How are we doing on time? Are we doing okay? Uh, yeah, we're all right. All right, we're getting there. You played in Ottawa and New York, right? Yeah. Did you get recognized more on the streets in Ottawa or yes. here? Ottawa. Ottawa. Yeah. They love their hockey more, you would say, because it's their main sport. Yeah. I think it's not that they love their hockey more. Because um, Ranger fans are they're, they're mean, intense. They're, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're like they're crazy in a good way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think it's like, I think it's a, you know, first of all, it's like a branding thing too. The Rangers are so, like, it's such a, like, historical team or whatever. But with Ottawa, it's, ev- like, everyone breeds hockey there. Like, that's all we have. Uh, you guys are, like, the we're gods like, up there. We're, like, well, I, I wasn't, but, like, at that point. But you had guys who were, like, basically, like, A-list. Yeah. In right. In Ottawa. That's crazy. Just like I mean, just right sense. there, like I feel like in New York, there's just so many people too. It's like you're not yeah. even like paying attention, really. But th- th- that's what I mean. Like I, I think I mentioned this to someone before. Even if you see me, you recognize me. Yeah, you might say hi, but you see so many different celebrities that are bigger than we are. Yeah, on a daily basis. Yeah, whatever. But even but, at your games. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like at Nick games, everyone yeah. that's at the game is way more famous than anyone that's on the floor. I mean, mm. I feel like unless, unless, NBA Le- athletes unless are LeBron's like, there. NBA athletes are legit, like, superstars if you're, like, remotely good. Yeah, but you got, like, Howard Stern watching you every night. <laughs> what? More people know who Howard Stern is than they know who fucking Noah Vonley yeah, is. Yeah, sure, but I'm, you know, I'm just saying. I know what you're saying. They're superstars in their own right, for sure. Yeah. Of course, like, even through advertising and shit like that. But it's, like, to, in terms of, like, getting recognized. I found this on the web for superstars in the right person. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh is that, is that your watch? I don't know. It's my phone. Yeah, the robots are watching us. Too. God, I can't terrible. handle, this. Can't handle uh, this. But anyway, I would think that in Canada, they have to be way bigger. I also think the cities are just different. Like New York is a giant city. Like yeah. I'm like I'm. Yeah, but what about Toronto? Like Toronto is a huge city. It's not New York City. It's 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 pretty big. It's big, yeah, dude. I, it's I've like been a, there. It's, it's a cleaner New York City. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. So like, <laughs> if you're on the Maple Leafs and you're walking around Toronto. Yeah, everyone's gonna know who you are. Yeah, we could walk around with him in New York City. People are gonna know who he is, but it's not like if he was in Toronto walking around. No, no yeah, I'm in agreement. Yeah, yeah, I didn't mind it in Ottawa though, because people were like really, really respectful of it. Mm-hmm. Like they're crazy about it and whatever. Uh, but you didn't want to show face when you were not doing well. <laughs> oh, really? No, but in a way where like you don't want to deal with it. Like, yeah, like, yeah, that was yourself. a rough one. <laughs> yeah see like i don't 
I've never hated like I've never like had anything against like fans being really passionate about it, but it's just like you don't want to put yourself in a spot where you want to discuss the game because sometimes yeah. even with friends, I'm like, shut up, I don't want to talk about the game. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we don't really talk hockey. I don't much. think we ever. Do. I don't think we ever talk hockey. The only no, time right we talk hockey is when you text us and you're like, yo, I fucking suck. Yeah, <laughs> no, nah. and then just be like, dude, you're great. Don't worry about it. Oh, thank let's, you. Let's go get dinner. Thank you so much. Oh, let's, no. go, let's, <laughs> go, let's go get dinner. Go get dinner. <laughs> no, you're really good. We can talk about it over dinner. All right? Let's See go. a catch. Teach me how to skate, please. Uh, Biggest difference between Ottawa and New York? Um, well, I mean, the cities. You have so much more to do here. Uh, I have more guests coming. No one wanted to come and visit me in Ottawa. It was like two flights. It's super simple to come here. How far is it from Toronto and like Montreal? Five hours with four and a half hours drive. Damn. Drive, drive, drive. Oh. Uh, 40 minutes with flight. It's not bad. All right. Montreal is two hours, hour and a half. Is it more so like... Is it like a... Where bo- is Ottawa? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to like, figure I know it out. Montreal is for the most part like right there and then Toronto's like to the left of it. Is right it, in between. Oh, right is it in between? between? Not right in between, but closer to Montreal, obviously. Oh, okay. They speak French there? They speak French everywhere, baby. I know, but in to- Ottawa? Toronto, they speak a lot of English. Yeah, dude, in Toronto though, when I went, a lot of their food products have it in English and then French right underneath. Yeah, because they got yeah. people from Montreal probably coming over there. Well, I'm French, French, French no, in Canada. Ottawa, it's like fifty-fifty. It's fifty-fifty. But I think every, most of them do speak. But but we have like the downtown goes into Quebec, like mm-hmm. half, okay. like other other side of the bridge is like All Quebec. Right. So, um, well, you're paying that New York tax now too. <laughs> It's honestly not much worse than in Ottawa. Really? Yeah. Jeez. At least I think. I don't know. At least I think. Yeah, so much money does. No, <laughs> man. I don't even know what happens. Comes in, goes out, whatever. It's fucking good fucking hockey players getting paid nowadays. I feel like they didn't get paid back in the day. Well, if you compare it to any other sport, they we don't still get paid don't when get you, paid. if you want to do that. Yeah. But, like, what's the biggest hockey contract of all time? Is it like Sidney Crosby or something? All time? No, no, no. Or that no, kid no. David, didn't he sign Nick something? David? Didn't he sign a new deal? Yeah, he signed with... Like eight years or some shit, probably. It's one. No, but you had... Uh, I think Kovalchuk signed like a 13 or 16-year deal with New Jersey. But they front-loaded the whole thing. So he would get like 15... I don't eight, know. I can't I can't yeah. remember what the contract was. But I think McDavid makes like either 12 and a half or 13 and a half a year. And Dude. that's what... That's not even like a... Dude, if you're a bum in the NBA, that's what I mean. Like a veteran, you're making like two million more. You know, a veteran's minimum in the NBA? No, no, Kyle. Yeah, veteran's minimum I think is like two million, one point five or something. Yeah. But like Kyle O'Quinn, who was on the Knicks last year, yeah, makes like nine million dollars a year. Yeah. Doesn't play. They get paid. In paid. The NBA. But you guys get guaranteed contracts. Guarantee. Mm-hmm. Guarantee. Guarantee. <laughs> guarantee. That's the key. I yeah. guarantee it. Damn, so no, far. but they do too. No, NBA. Yeah, yeah just not football. Yeah, Which that's crazy. why. That's crazy because of the injuries and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's One, so fucked up. It is fucked up. It is fucked up. One question about fighting: Have you ever been in a fight? No, never once in your professional career. No. All not right, planning on it either. Now, is that like a like offensive guys don't fight? Uh, do, like, no. do they do they protect the goal score? Because Wayne Gretzky got protected. I feel like. Yeah, no one more, let him touch more him. back in the days, but I think you know you stand up for your teammates. But I just never really felt like I, I had to in a sense. So much horseplay going around in those fucking <laughs> games. You ever see him like behind like those fucking slap? They're trying to get the ball. In the, uh, the, oh the ball. boy, here we go. Trying to get the puck in there, <laughs> smacking it around, and then all they do is slap each other in the face. What's that about? You guys all paw each other and and fucking yell at each other. Yeah, you gotta mush them. What's up with the, with the mushing yeah, and the pushing? First of all, I don't want to sit there for five plus minutes and yeah. not play. Yeah. You know, somebody, somebody on the Rangers got fucked up in the Islanders game. Was there a fight in the Rangers? Oh Islanders yeah, game? yeah, yeah. He broke his finger. Yeah, he broke his finger. He was dead tired. He didn't want to fight. We were up two nothing, three nothing. Yeah. And he's like, "There's no chance. Like, why would we do it?" Caught some heat. And he tried and yeah, but he couldn't. He couldn't throw a punch because he. He, I think he twisted or something like that. Yeah. See, that's the whole thing. There's like a whole fucking you gotta hold their sweater, th- throw a couple of these, and punching that helmet. That, that thing's gotta hurt. That's my aim for the face. Yeah, but also, is it soft if you wear a visor? No. I feel like it secretly is, though. I think it is. 
No, but there's not a whole lot of guys without a visor. You don't wear a visor, right? I just defended myself. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, he would have been like, yeah, visors are for pussies. Yeah. <laughs> if I, if I, I think visors look cooler. I also like, I don't want to get hit in the fucking eyes yeah. with a puck. No, I got hit with a stick in the eye once. That's and good. I open up and I don't see anything. It was just all blood inside of the eye. Oh, like in red? Eyelid. Damn. No, like I see like well, it's like black. Like I'm, like, oh, oh. I'm blind. Oh, I have to like like the the stitches on my eyelid. Nice. And then you got back in there. <laughs> the the next, yeah. The next game because I couldn't play because I couldn't see anything, so my vision was just yeah. Fucked. And do you guys have a team dentist? Yeah, we do. So they can potentially pop your tooth back in. And you'll play. Yeah, I don't think you'd do it right, and you'd do it after the game probably, if you want to. You guys I had it nuts. done. My first year, I played. So I played with a cage back home in Sweden. Got drafted, came to the development camp during the summer. First game with the visor, I'll go hit a guy. A guy's like five seven. Cool. Comes up, hits the helmet <laughs> right up my tooth. Half a tooth gone. Two hours later, they fixed it. Like I left the development camp game and just went. It's like a scrimmage, but just left. Got it done. That's your worst, like, yeah, hockey lo- casualty. Yeah. yeah. That in the eye. Yeah. I couldn't do it. I wish I played hockey growing up so bad. They sweat so much. It's disgusting. And they fight each other, and they all lose their teeth. It's a tough sport. It's a tough sport. If whatever you just it's said It's not for you. I don't, it's not for you. Yeah, I don't. I wish I played so bad. Why? Because it's so fun. I don't know. It's too hard. It's That's so why it's hard. Fun. It's, it's like not a almost a lot of people can do it. It's like impossible to score. Like, do you remember playing floor hockey in gym class? Yeah, it was fucking nasty. Dude, how frustrating was just floor hockey in in, in high school? Hurt my back. <laughs> yeah, dude. Got a fucking No slap shots allowed? Yeah, man. No Get... slap shots. Why am I here? Yeah. Fucking cranking that thing out. <laughs> yeah, but you know. Maybe you could. Maybe you maybe it'd be tough for it. Maybe yeah, I'm be starving, by the way. Yeah, I'm hungry, too. Yeah. We should get the fuck out of here. We should. We're going to see Travis Scott, too. It's starting yeah. to get dark. I don't, I don't feel safe here. <laughs> this guy, I swear to God. <laughs> starting not to feel safe here. I don't fucking know here. I got to sharp with my knife, I guess. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, we can wrap this up. Hour and a half. Hour and a half. One of the longest episodes we've ever done. Yeah. It's very good. Free for all in conversation. What did I just say? Free yeah. for all in conversation. Free, free for all and Free for all. How much was that much? We'll talk about <laughs> Find out on the next. Find episode. out on the next episode of the Basement. Yard. Find how out much, next time. How much was that watch? All right. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. Anyway, what is your Instagram so people can go follow you? Well, not like what is it? Alexa said it wrong. Alexa, yeah, it's yeah. A, I forgot what they said. Zabanejad. Z- Zabanejad. It's not that. It's yeah. Zabanejad ninety three. Zabanejad. Uh, spell it. Spells the Jed. You got it. Come on. Z- I spelled it right that one time where you were like, yo, spell it. I spelled it. I got it right. Um, I'll give you the first. Z. Z. B. No. J. Okay, I'll, I'll do this. <laughs> it's every other is a vowel. Is that every right? other is a vowel. Z. A. I. Wait, start over. Z. I. There you go. Yeah. B. Yes. A. N. E. J. A. D. There you Fucking go. Fucking go, son. It only took you like five tries. No, 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 no. I just, uh, I had to get the first, the second letter. No, no, no. If I got the second letter, I know Banajad, but I didn't know. Banajad. Right. Banajad? Yeah. Yeah. Banajad. But anyway, uh, you can find me at Daniel Fiori on Instagram and Twitter. And yeah. that's it. Yeah. And guys, go follow the show on Instagram at The Basement Yard. And the Patreon is P A T R E O N dot com slash The Basement Yard to support the show. Appreciate it. We'll see you guys next time. Hockey. <laughs>